Welcome to the APL quest. See APL wiki for details. Today's quest, the fourth from the 2016 round of the APL problem solving competition, asks us to take two vectors and mesh them together. Now that's really simple if they have the same length, but if they don't, then there's a little bit more work. Okay, a test case would be, for example, these two character vectors. Since they don't have the same length, then the trailing part of the one on the left, LOG, will have to just be as it is at the very end. So what we want to have is D and then an A from over here and then Y and then the P from over here. Lower case A from the left, L from the right, and then uh, L from the left, O from the left, G from the left. Let's do that with a little lambda, a defen in between them. And what we can do is we can start by just simply concatenating them together. Now we have all the elements that we want, but we need to reorder them into the correct order. So we want from the left, from the right, from the left, from the right, and so on. Now here's the thing, and um, if we have such a um, such a list, we can sort it. In APL, the normal way to sort things is by using grade. So here we're grading the same thing, and this gives us, us to uh, it gives it to us in alphabetical order. Of course, this is not what we want. But I want what I want to illustrate is the use of grade. What does grade actually do? Let's uh, let's try it like this. Grade gives us the indices that we will need to use in order to reorder into sort order. So here, in order to reorder this, um, sorry, in order to reorder this into sort order, we first want element number two, that's a one, then element number four, the other one, then the three, which is in position one, then the third element, number f the four, and the fifth element, which is five. And so if we do this, we get it sorted. But we don't have to sort by the data itself. We could sort by something else. So this is saying whatever would be necessary to sort this vector is used to reorder the letters in hello. So we have that result over here. So you want the second element, that's the E. The fourth element, that's an L. The first element, that's the H, and that's what we have down here. If we can construct something that will sort in this, in such a way that it puts the first element from the left, then the first element from the right, and the second element from the left, second element from the right, then we can use that to reorder the concatenation into the order that we want. Well, if we start with a one from the left, and then, and on the right, a 1 on the right, and then a 2 on the left, and a 2 on the right, and we concatenate these together, 3 on the left, and 3 on the right, then if we ask how would we sort them, then we say we need the first element, from, and then the fourth element, that's the one over here. And then the second element, that's this one. And the fifth element, that's the one from over here. So if we think about these corresponding to the left argument and the right argument, then this would actually put them into right order. And this works even if we have trailing elements, because first we'll do pairwise the one from the left, one from the right, one, two from the left, two from the right, three from the left, three from the right, and then just the sole four, five, or six, whichever side those would come from. This is the result that we want. 
So how can we generate this this vector or these two vectors together? Well, these are just all the indices in uh, the left argument and the right argument concatenated together. So if we go back back up here and we find out how many elements are there in the left and how many elements are there on the right. Alpha is the leftmost uh, letter of the Greek alphabet, as you mentioned, omega the rightmost, so they refer to the left and right arguments. 6 and 3. Now we can use IOTA, IOTA is like an I, I for index generator, to generate the indices from 1 through uh, this length. Those are exactly the ones we need. Now we can concatenate them together. And that's the vector that we need to grade in order to sort the concatenation. And this solves the problem. But we can actually clean this up a bit. Notice the duplication of code. We are concatenating together the indices of the tally of the left argument and the indices of the tally of the right argument. Which means we're actually concatenating together the left and right argument just like before, but just before we concatenate them, we pre-process both arguments by converting them into their enumerations. And we can write that as um, the left concatenated with the right with a special combinator called over, which takes a function on the right. In this case, this function is um, a juxtaposition of index generation and tally, which just we also call that an atop. So we're applying the tally, and then afterwards you're applying the index generation on that. And that works the same. Next up, we can, uh, instead of using the the indexing syntax with the square brackets, we can use a functional form. You'll see in a moment why that's a good idea. So there's a function which very much looks like these two brackets put together. Well, we can leave this parenthesis for now. So it's this squad. And it takes the indices on the left, except we need to enclose it for some technical reasons. But this works exactly the same as the above. Of course, because of APL's long write scope, every function takes everything as far as it can see until we close off with some bracket or the end of the um, of the statement. We don't need parentheses on the right. And now we can switch to a uh, to a fully tacit mode. Tacit points free is a type of programming where we don't mention the arguments, and it can work really elegantly in APL. When we have three functions that where two of them are being applied to the arguments and the other two and and, the, and one of them uh, is applied between the results, we call that a fork. So let's pause for a moment and see how that works. Let's say we have ten on one side and three on the other side, and three functions in the middle. The middle function is concatenation. The left function is plus, and the right function is minus. So then the outer functions are applied to the arguments, and the middle function is applied between the results. So this is the concatenation of addition and subtraction. And we can use any functions for this. In our case, what corresponds to the concatenation is in fact an indexing. And what corresponds to the plus is the enclosure of the grade of the concatenation of the indices of the uh, of the tally. And on the right, the minus is the concatenation over here. So we can substitute things into this pattern. Um, we can take this over here and make it into a little function instead put braces around that Oops. and then we can 
change the comma into the indexing function and change the minus into a comma. We just need to put our arguments back. But we can go one more step by using, uh, or actually a couple more steps, by using some combinators because this is a single function and we, sorry, up to here, and we want to apply the grade on top of that, on the result of that, and we want to apply the enclose to the result of that. And we can actually specify that using the circle, a little a little circle diuresis, or jot diuresis. This just means this function over here, um, well, followed by this function. Technically speaking, it's actually this function applied to the result of this function, where the arguments are pre-processed by this function over here. And the same thing we want. Uh, this here, the enclose, applied atop the result of the grade. So this is enclose of the grade of the concatenation of the indices of the tallies of the two arguments. And now we don't have to mention the arguments anymore because this is a single derived function, a new function that's being made by combining old functions. And as a final step, what we can do, and that's mostly just for the fun of it, is break up this Kanban function. We are pre-processing both arguments with the indices of the tally. That would really be the same thing as pre-processing both arguments first with tally, and then pre-processing them again with the index generation. So we can spell that out using this over, we call it. So this is the enclose of the grade of the concatenation of the indices of the tallies of the arguments. In the indexes, the concatenation. Thank you for watching.